Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> Purple hair club. If it looks like I'm not doing anything, it's because I have a gift. Throw me down on the, the fundamentals of an enchilada. You gotta have a filling, you gotta have a wrap, you gotta have a sauce. So what's our filling gonna be? Squash, broccoli, beans, onion. So we're gonna roast some squash, so we gotta preheat. What's the roasting temperature? 425, right? Sure. Oh yeah! Cut it! Okay, so we cut this and then we're just gonna peel this. Kathy, if you're watching this, you should make these. Gordon Ramsay would- oh my god, he this is gratuitous. He would rip you a new one. I am not a master chef. Dude, it's like the American Idol effect. Like, anyone can sing and it's great. You don't have to sing like Mariah to be a singer and have fun singing. You don't have to be able to cook as well as Gordon Ramsay to be able to enjoy cooking. Is this enough? Yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna splice them. Ground cumin, a little bit of cinnamon, but you don't want it to taste like a frickin' pumpkin pie, so like, go easy. Okay, sure. we drizzle some olive oil over it. We're getting our hands dirty here. Yeah! Cool, so we're putting these in the oven. You gotta do the going into the oven shot. All right, so normally I would soak these overnight, but since we are short on time. It's fine. I soak my cashews for like an hour all the time, and it comes out fun. Just in case you weren't sure what soaking the cashews meant. This is an educational program. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break and cut my hair. Going for the, uh, the Natalie Dormer look, I once it's that. long enough. Let's check on those. They're looking pretty... Oh, that looks selectable. You can, you can toss these once. No. Oh, we're back in the oven shop! Prep time. Gonna dice this onion. Don't forget to take these yeah. scraps and save them for later. Oh, so we're gonna count out. So we're gonna make a tomato sauce. Tomato paste in a pan. And I was like, that's a carving knife. I just yeah. wanted... I didn't even need a big one. Like, Your hair is... Every way. Throw a little cumin in here, red cayenne, oregano, salt. Just gotta pour over Four. everything. So I'm gonna take these uh, onions out because they're definitely looking good. This is like complicated recipe parts well, to it. Yeah. We're gonna throw some broccoli in here. Mm. Saute those a little bit. Mm. That goes in real easy. So those are done. Don't forget about the broccoli. And you don't have to turn the oven off because we're gonna roast enchiladas. We can kind of throw these all in one big bowl. I keep forgetting that we're supposed to be gone. recording this. You're gonna edit this and be like, what? Yeah. So we can put that in here. Onions in. Onions in. Um, I cooked these black beans earlier today. You could use a can if you want. We're definitely not gonna use all of these. When? That was a can's worth. I'm playing with this tripod. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, yes. There it is. No. Yes. I have a poblano. Okay. No. No. Oh, you're gonna put it right on the fire. Fire! You kinda, oh. just like keep an eye on it though. Um, and you're just gonna keep turning it until it gets nice and charry on the outside. And then you're gonna keep the skin on and it's gonna be delicious. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this charred. Wow, these are gonna be stuff. Got a lot of stuff going in here. The whole enchilada. Put the broccoli in there. Um, and you can honestly like throw whatever the F you want in here. If you're like, I don't like broccoli, can I make this recipe? Of course you can, just don't put broccoli in it. If you wanted to like do something crazy, like throw some mushrooms in here, like. Mm. Mm. That would be so good. Do you want to turn so it I'm up? Turn it up a little bit. Fire! Because I like it to be really charred. Oh yeah, Ooh. when it's popping, that's when you know it's oh. right. Yeah, that's better. Boom! That's how we do it. Cool. I think does that look good? Yeah. All right. So how are we? Let's make some cashew sauce. Cutting kind of the top out. I keep some of the seeds in there though. You want to get that kick? If yeah, you, you want can, less you kick. You can cut it in half and pull them out, but it smells so good though. Uh, cashews let them soak for an hour. Drain them. Um yes. Drain swamp. My colander is in the fridge full of beans. Carla? Sammy the salt shaker snake. You gotta like it's really, like you gotta get like a rattle going. But why isn't it going up? There you go. You got it. I put paprika on everything. That's cool. Pull me up. So this is basically like a cashew sheet. Yeah. Lime. Teamwork. Holy powder. Let's go. Ow, man. Add a little water in. Probably need a lot more water. See how thick it is. Don't forget to scrape the sides because all that goodness gets stuck. Woo! I'm just gonna taste this. Ooh, that's hot. I'm not mad about it, but it does need salt because it just tastes like spice right now. So if you wanted to do like a low carb version of this, you could like eat look it. at this. Just eat it. Like this is sauce this is dinner it. right here. Pour some, oh, oh. Delicious. Just kind of pour some of that in. Spread it around. Make fill stuff. It. So you fill this thing up, and then you're just gonna roll it on itself and make sure that the seam is on the bottom so it'll stay closed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato base. Ooh, like, yeah, baby. Pour it over. Cool. So that's some sort of a base. We can try and make it look nice too, or we can just get a real close up. Can you take this? Coming in the oven shot. Give it a chance for everything to heat up again. Check it at 10. All right. Yeah. Woo! That yeah, looks, looks done like though. Sprinkle it with some oh, cilantro. Yeah. All right, and then you take a lime and you gotta just like lime the whole thing. And that's just gonna like kick everything Elevate up. it. Eat this sh up, folks. What? Same, Mariah. Yeah, check out how freaking fancy I made this. Like, do you think this would please an omnivore? Yeah. 
Thursday 6 to 11, I play at Oma on 80th and Amsterdam. Yeah, so if you want to go see some sweet Covers. singing. You kind of have to like, it's more of like a, like a that. Oh, oh, uh. Sammy <laughs> the salt shaker snake. <laughs> this happened last time you came too. Thanks so much for watching that video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button. Leave a comment, like, share, all those things. Uh, and I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new recipe.